Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make this texture roller here. Um, this is a really cool pattern. I will just roll it out here so you can kind of see it. Anyway, um, I created this with just some vinyl placemats and then using a simple pointy tool such like this on the end and just dabbing in. Um, so you can, there's a lot of tools that you can use to do that. I'm probably going to use uh, this one right here. This is what I used for the original. So let's get started. Um, first of all, I, cr I collect a lot of vinyl placemats and as you know many come in a package and so what I end up doing with some of the leftover ones is I cut them up into individual pieces. So for today um, the majority are going to come from this. This used to be a big runner and as you can see it's you know some of it's chopped off. <laughs> so um, I have elements from all those placemats in here but um, I, I like the leaf motif so I'm probably going to use that a lot. Um, I also wanted to bring in flowers this time. So my flowers are huge, I'm realizing. So maybe not so many, maybe just three flowers. Now, as I roll it in, it's gonna expand, but it just, I needed to have a marker for where to, where to go initially. And then the next step is just a bunch of doing this. So I finished doing the dots and now I'm going to take away the stencils, I guess, you, if you want to call them that. Now before you cut, it's really important to lift it up so it's not stuck. It's going to be easy to pull off without distortion. All right, one of the things to notice here is I did not fill in all the way here on this seam and all the way here because I'm going to add that after it's on the roller. So here's my right angle and I've already, I've done this before. So I know that it's five and three eighths is what I'm after. So I'm using a one and a half inch dowel here or one and a quarter, sorry. When I laid my pattern out, I did not do any really big seam, really big pieces right close to the seam. I knew that I was going to have to work on this seam to get it flat. Now I'm just going to smooth it. And now I can stick in the other um, design, like I wanted to put this little flower in. All right, so that's it. Now what I'm going to do is finish off filling in the empty space with the dots. So then you should just be able to twist it and have it come out. And then just inspect it to see if you need to push out anywhere or push in anywhere. These are so satisfying to make that I just may finish off now doing is just going around the edges and making sure that they're smooth on the top. I might even try to taper in a little bit because I don't want a ridge. Hey, so that's it for my roller. Uh, next stop is the bisque kiln and hopefully I'll enjoy this pattern as much as I do this one. This is my absolute favorite. All right, thanks. Catch you next time.